Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and this video is a ranking of the top 10 US states for national parks. So this is going to be a ranking of the states that have the best national parks in them, in my opinion, but also based on some other sites that are run by the National Park Service, such as national monuments and historic sites and so on. And I will be going in depth on some of the best in each of these states. Before we begin though, subscribe to the channel so you know when new national park content comes out. It's free to subscribe, and in return, you will get plenty more videos. Let's jump right in. Number 10 is New Mexico. New Mexico, in terms of just straight national parks, the ones I have the most experience of, White Sands National Park and Carlsbad Caverns National Park. White Sands has beautiful, seemingly untouched sand dunes that are absolutely breathtaking to look at. And Carlsbad Caverns has some of the best cave formations in the world, my personal favorites with the big room being so grand and awe-inspiring that I had to earn a spot on the list. Besides that, you have Aztec Ruin, Bandelier National Monument, Checo Culture National Historic Park, El Mapais, Gila Cliff Dwellings, and Picos National River. Number 9 is Texas. Texas is primarily high up for Big Bend National Park, the most underrated I've ever been to. No one really talks about this one, some go there but very few, but I think it is the best desert park, period. I was blown away by Lost Mine Trail in the Chisos Mountains, Santa Elena Canyon, the Boquillas Canyon, and so many other sites here. It's a beautiful park. And then you also have Guadalupe Mountains National Park, which is also quite nice and has the highest point in Texas. And then you have Amistad, Padre Island, and the Rio Grande National River. All of these are wonderful places as well. Number eight is Hawaii. Hawaii is primarily here for its two absolutely phenomenal parks. You have Hawaii Volcanoes, which has lava flows, some sea arches, and a lot of unique flora and fauna because of the surrounding caldera area and the volcanic landscape. And Haleakala combines lush rainforests with some Martian landscapes of Haleakala Summit that are vibrant and different in color from anything I've ever seen. There aren't a whole lot of other really noteworthy sites, in my opinion, outside of these two, but Pearl Harbor, specifically World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument, is definitely worth going to, and Hawaii has quite a bit to enjoy. Number 7 is Washington. I should point out Washington State. This one is primarily known for three national parks. Not many other sites outside of them, but Mount Rainier is one of the most breathtaking mountains out there. You have the spectacular Olympic National Park, where the landscapes can range from the mountainous Hurricane Ridge, to the colorful Ho Rainforest, to the serene but rocky beaches of the coast. And North Cascades is a hiker's paradise, so these three parks make for one of the most beautiful national park collections of any state. Number 6 is Wyoming. I have seen three sites in Wyoming that immediately earned a spot on the list, I was pretty certain. Yellowstone National Park, definitely being my favorite national park of them all, boosts this one quite a bit. And while yes, parts of this park are in Montana and Idaho, that's probably a combined 5% of Yellowstone, so I'm mainly counting it for Wyoming. And I've talked about Yellowstone many times before, I recommend watching some other videos about that if you want to learn more about the park in general, but I love the wildlife in Lamar Valley, the colorful geysers, and pretty much everything about the park. There are so many activities and so many things to enjoy. It's one that just sticks with me more than any other. Not to be outdone is Grand Teton. Just south of Yellowstone, it has massive jagged mountains, some of the most photogenic you'll ever see, and plenty of wildlife and picturesque hikes to enjoy. Outside of these two national parks, Devil's Tower National Monument is my favorite area that you can find in the quote-unquote Black Hills region. This is obviously somewhat far from the Black Hills, but I think it's absolutely worth a day trip from Badlands, Wind Cave, or anything like that. It is such a unique monolith, and walking around it puts in a unique perspective, and I think it's definitely among the best national monuments, period. Number five is Colorado. Colorado has four very different national parks. You have Rocky Mountain, which is known for its wonderful Trail Ridge Road Drive, great hiking, 
mountainous landscape, and of course, plenty of great wildlife as mentioned in any other parks I've said. But I think this one has quite a few where I've seen bighorn sheep and elk in pretty much the same area. You also have Great Sand Dunes National Park, which has some of their nice mountains, of course, but you also have sand dunes that probably are significantly, for me, more impressive than White Sands. And I love the sand dunes here, but then you also have the desert landscape and fascinating history of Mesa Verde. This national park is primarily focused on the preservation of Pueblo dwellings, and I think they are just phenomenal. And then you have the magnificent Black Canyon of the Gunnison. It's nothing like any other canyon I've ever seen, and I feel it is among the most underrated national parks, similar to Big Bend. Another important one I should note is Colorado National Monuments. It has Utah-type scenery, and I love that. So Colorado is definitely deserving of a top 5 spot. Number 4 is Arizona. Arizona has it all. It's primarily desert, as you would expect, but there are three national parks and so much more than that. The main national park, you all know it, say it with me now, Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon deserves all of the praise it gets. It is just one of the most breathtaking and grand features, pun not intended, in the United States. There is so much to see, and when you go into the canyon, you get a whole new look at it that makes it even better. Then you have the underrated Saguaro National Park, which has a unique display of desert flora and fauna that I find to be very enjoyable and enough to carry the park's relatively lesser scenery compared to others that have been mentioned. And Petrified Forest National Park is the opposite, with wonderful scenery and pretty much every color of the rainbow being found in the rock formations, something I was not expecting in such a not-talked-about park. Then you have Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. This one is absolutely wonderful. This one, I feel, is on par with some of the best national parks, it has Lake Powell, of course, and boating through here, past all of these unique canyon features, kinds of things you might see at Grand Canyon, but is far more accessible in Glen Canyon, I think it really means a lot. Oregon Pipe is also a wonderful place to go, the cacti there are fascinating. Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument has lava beds, and Mupatki National Monument provides cliff-dwelling views to an extent. So I feel Arizona has a lot of the things that make Colorado great, but even more of them, and they're even more impressive. Number three is Utah. Utah speaks for itself. You have the Mighty Five. The national parks here, many would put in their top ten, to the point where it's almost considered sacrilege to say Arches is not one of your favorite national parks. Same can't go for Zion. Zion National Park is my favorite in Utah. Angel's Landing is one of the best hikes I've done. The scenic drive is fascinating. And being beneath the canyon walls from the start is different from the Grand Canyon, but I feel the sweeping vistas go on even further than the expansive Grand Canyon views. Bryce Canyon has the fascinating amphitheater, and it's honestly a marvelous sight. It's a bit quirky, but I enjoy that. Canyonlands has the massively underrated Needles District, with Chesler Park view being pretty much right up there with Angel's Landing. And not to be outdone, Delicate Arch at Arches National Park is a trail I consider almost as good as Chesler Park, and there are plenty of other accessible trails you can do in Arches, and that one has so many features, and while they're not quite as large as those of Zion, I think they are just as beautiful. And then outside of that, you have the possibly most overlooked, Capitol Reef National Park. Few talk about this one, and maybe it's best kept a secret, but it is among the best for four-wheel drive. Then you have Dinosaur National Monument, which is my personal favorite of all national monuments for its fossils and also its unique landscape. There's Rainbow Bridge National Monument, which provides views of an arch possibly more impressive than delicate. And the list goes on for Utah. I think I probably should save my breath for the top two, but Utah, it really goes on, and there is so much to enjoy. Number two is California, very close to getting number one. With nine national parks and a whole lot of sites, 28 park sites to be exact, it was very difficult to not put this in the top spot. Let's start from my favorite national park here, Yosemite. This one 
John Muir loved it, and John Muir, he had great taste. Yosemite has some of the most unbelievable views, like Tunnel View being the true iconic photo that pretty much personifies the national parks at this point. Hiking such as Mist Trail and Upper Yosemite Falls, and even smaller ones such as Mariposa Grove, are absolute must-dos. And the hiking and views here are among the most spectacular in any national park. Then you have Channel Islands National Park, a very underrated one for me, as you have abundant views of the ocean, but also these sort of Galapagos-type landscapes of the islands. It really is Galapagos in North America, between the excellent hiking and wildlife and similar. I feel Death Valley is another one that is very enjoyable. It's a strangely diverse national park, given that most people only know for Badwater Basin, but from Zabriskie Point to the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes, I feel there is almost more to do in Death Valley than maybe any other national park in the main 48 states. I feel Pinnacles National Park is another incredibly underrated one, with wonderful hiking and California condors. Lassen Volcanic National Park is breathtaking. Hiking Lassen Peak, enjoying some of the features that are geothermal focused, I think it's kind of like a mini Yellowstone. And you know I like Yellowstone, so of course it earns a pretty high spot as a result. And then there are some others that I haven't seen as much of, namely Joshua Tree, Sequoia, and Kings Canyon. And while I love those, I don't want to comment too much on them. I like Joshua Tree's hikes a lot, Sequoia's scenic drive is great, and General Grant Grove is a wonderful feature of Kings Canyon. That said, I just haven't seen enough of Kings Canyon in particular, and I've talked a lot about Sequoia and Joshua Tree in some other videos if you want to check those out. And then there's Redwood, one many love, I very much enjoy it of course, the rugged beaches, and Jurassic appearing landscape and forests, it's certainly a great park. Then you have Point Reyes National Seashore with beautiful wildlife, Alcatraz as the single greatest historic focus place in the US in my opinion, Mojave National Preserve, which is on par with Joshua Tree for me, Muir Woods, a very pleasant place, Lava Beds National Monument, and so on and so forth. California just can't be beat. Except for number one, Alaska. The last frontier, it doesn't have a whole lot outside of the national parks, just Noatak National Preserve and the Klondike Gold Rush Historic Site, but the eight national parks here are simply unrivaled. For this one, we'll work our way up. My least favorites that I see were Gates of the Arctic and Kobuk Valley, because I was not able to access as, as much of them, but they are absolutely the best of Untouched Wilderness pretty much. And for these to be the ones I enjoyed the least, though I still very much enjoyed them, that goes to show how unbeatable the Alaska National Parks are. If you're a serious backpacker, these two parks could single-handedly make Alaska the best state for national parks and travel. I very much enjoy Glacier Bay National Park for its abundant wildlife, from whales to sea otters to sea lions and all. Kenai Fjords has Exit Glacier as a very fun hike and plenty of great scenic areas on both the land and the sea. Brangel St. Elias has some of the most massive glaciers and mountains of unbelievable proportions, in a way that absolutely left me awestruck. Root Glacier is a must-do trail here. And then there are three parks that are all in my top five out of 62 national parks, so that shows just how unbelievable these parks are. Katmai has brown bears at Brook Falls, the single most unbelievable wildlife sighting you'll ever experience, and the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a wonderful mountain range coated in volcanic ash, being a unique living history exhibit. Then there's Lake Clark, which has similar wildlife, I personally did get to see great wolves here as well, but also the tranquil and absolutely perfect pure blue lakes, and the unbelievably difficult but also enjoyable hike to Nalia Mountain. An absolutely amazing view awaits you at the top, and the grand mountains and glaciers here are some of the most inspiring. And then there's Denali. A view of Denali the mountain itself on a clear day is my favorite view in any national park. Add that to the Big Five wildlife, the wonderful scenic drive, several great hiking trails, and a whole lot more. Denali 
is the single most beautiful site in America to me, and Alaska has the best national parks of any U.S. state. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your favorite states for travel, and if you have any questions about national parks in general, let me know. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time.